टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर्स सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर्स आर द नंबर ऑफ डिजिट विच आर नोन एक्यूरेटली प्लस फर्स्ट डिजिट विच इज अनसर्टिन यू हैव टेकन एनी ऑब्जर्वेशन देयर सो देयर वी काउंट द नंबर ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर्स बेस्ड ऑन द फैक्ट दैट हाउ मेनी डिजिट हैव बीन मेजर्ड एक्यूरेटली and the first digit which is uncertain so that gives the number of significant figures in that observation there are certain rules for finding number of significant figures in the given data or observation so let's discuss what are those rules for finding number of significant figures first one is all non zero digits are significant so all non zero digits are significant that means if you take suppose 3 4 so here we have used three digits here but they are all non zero so number of significant figures will be 3 if it is 24 in that case it is 2 Okay. If it is suppose one nine six eight, it is four. So all non-zero digits are significant. Rules you find dealing with zeros, where the zeros are appearing, whether they are appearing in the beginning of the number, whether they are appearing at the end of the number, whether they are appearing at after decimal but in the beginning of number, after decimal at the end of the number. For all these, the rules are different. third one zeros at the end of number are non significant zeros at the end of the number are non significant that means if i write a uh, 300 these zeros they are at the end of the number so they will be non significant so number of significant figure is 1 only if it is your say 3600 it will be two because these two zeros will not be taken into consideration they are not significant but zeros if they are appearing at the end of the number and after that there is represented decimal zeros appearing at the end of the number followed by represented decimal then they are significant that means if it is written as 300 dot then number of significant figure will be 3 if it is of 3600 then dot then it is 4 another rule zeros appearing at the end of the number are significant if they are obtained from some measurement zeros appearing at the end of the number are significant if they are obtained from some measurement that means if i take 300 cm then these zeros will be significant so number of significant figures will be 3 3600 2 it will be 4 because they are obtained from some measurement zeros after decimal but appearing at the end of the number they will be significant zeros after decimal but appearing at the end of the number that means if you have suppose 24.00 here these zeros are after decimal but they are at the end of the number so here they will be significant so here number of significant figures will be Four. If it is your twenty-four point zero, it will be three. But zeros after decimal, but appearing in the beginning of the number, they will be non-significant. That means if we have point. Zero zero three six. 
zeros are after decimal but appearing in the beginning of the number so here they will be non significant number of significant figure will be only 2 if it is your decimal 0 0 1 it will have only one significant figure power of 10 are non significant that means if i write 3 into 10 to the power 8 it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 power of 10 is non significant so number of significant figure will be one day one another is suppose if i take uh, 6 to 4 into 10 to the power 29 so here also this power of 10 will not be taken into consideration only these three will be taken so number of significant figure will be three other one if you express any physical quantities measured value from one unit to another then number of significant figures should remain same number of significant figures should not change that means suppose i take 2 meter the number of significant figure is how much it is 1 only I want to express this in centimeter. So if I express it as 200 centimeter, this is wrong because number of significant figure in that case it will be 3. Why? Because this is 200 centimeter that means it is obtained from some measurement. So number of significant figure here it will become 3. And what we are saying that if a measured value is expressed from one unit to another the number of significant figures should remain same so obviously this is not the correct way so how we should represent 2 meter there we should write it as 2 into 10 to the power 2 centimeter now power of 10 is non significant so obviously it will be only one significant figure here this is also the reason why we neglect or we uh, take power of 10 as non-significant. Similarly, suppose it is your 5000 gram and I want to represent it in kg. So if it is a 5000 gram, the significant figure is how much? 4. And I want to write that one in kg or express it in kg. So this should be written as your 5.00 kg. So that number of significant figure will be 4. We should not write a 5000 gram as 5 kg. Okay. 5000 gram, 4 significant figure, 5.000 kg will also have the 4 significant figures. Okay. So these are certain rules for finding number of significant figures in a given observation and using these significant figures when you are adding or subtracting in that case when you add or subtract given observations the final result should have same number of digits after decimal which is minimum in all the observations so it will have the same number of digits after decimal which is minimum in all the observations to be expressed as the final result but for multiplication when you are taking the significant figures into consideration in that case final result should have same number of significant figures which is minimum for the observations which are multiplied or divided in multiplication or division final result should have the same number of significant figure which is least in the observation suppose 
you have to add these observations 24.23 11.113 21.1 so first we'll add usual way that is 3 4 this is 4 6 5 now final result will be expressed up to the same minimum number of unit or digits after decimal which is list in the observations so here this has one place after decimal this is up to three place this is up to two place so final result should have for addition or subtraction minimum number of digits after decimal which is list in all the observations so it is one so that means we'll retain up to this place only that is one place after decimal these will be dropped. Of course, we apply the concept of rounding up rules there. But here, if you just round off, it will be final result will be 56.4. So this is the sum of these. Same method we apply for subtraction. But for multiplication, if you take, if you have, suppose, 11.1, and you have to multiply it to 21.34. So this product with normal multiplication will give you value as 236.874. With the usual multiplication, it is uh, there up to three places there, 8.374. But you see now, how many number of significant figures are here? It is 3 here, there it is 4. So in this multiplication, we have 3 as the minimum number of significant figure. So final result should also have the same number of significant figure, which is least in the given observations for multiplication or division. So here it is up to 3. So that means we'll retain it up to 3 places. Obviously, we'll have to drop all these. And for dropping, obviously, when we'll do rounding off, it will be 237. So that will be the answer there. Rules for rounding off is a simple one. In fact, uh, many of you must be using it earlier. Only one rule is there now, uh, which you might be doing for the first time. Rules of rounding off first is, if the digit to be dropped, is less than 5 then the preceding digit remains unchanged if the digit to be dropped is less than 5 then preceding digit remains unchanged that means if you have 24.32 and you want to drop this then after rounding off it will be written as your 24.3 if it is your say 16.84 and want to drop this 4, it will remain 16.8. Because the digit to be dropped is less than 5. But if the digit to be dropped is more than 5, then we increase the preceding digit by 1. So that means second will be if it is 24.36 and I want to drop this 6, then it will be your 24.4 because 3 will be increased by 1. Or it is your 16.89. I want to drop this 9. So this one will become 16.9. This 8 will be increased by 1. So if the digit to be dropped is less than 5, preceding digit remains unchanged. If the digit to be dropped is more than 5, then preceding digit is increased by 1. Now, now let's take the third one. If the digit to be dropped is 5 or 5 followed by 0. In that case, there are two rules. If the digit to be dropped is 5 or 5 followed by 0, then preceding digit remains unchanged if it is even. 
that means if it is your 24.45 I want to drop this 5 so preceding digit is how much 4 which is an even number so as it is even number it will remain unchanged so it will remain 24.4 or in the given one, if it is 24.450, we want to drop both digits there, then also it is your 24.4. If it is your 32.65, I want to drop this 5, it will remain 32.6. But if the preceding digit is odd number, in that case it is increased by 1 that means if I take this as 3 that means it is a 24.35 I want to drop this 5 3 will be increased by 1 and then it will become 24.4 because if I'm dropping 5 preceding digit is an odd number so it is increased by 1 here also, if it is suppose we take this one as 5, it is 32.55, I want to drop this 5. So this 5, as it is an odd number, it will increase by 1, it will become 32.6. So if the digit to be dropped is 5 or 5 followed by 0, then preceding digit, if it is even, it remains unchanged. But if it is odd, it will be increased by 1. So these are the rules for rounding off.